Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How are we doing today, people? So, as you can see, today's video is about a story that I really enjoyed about Dr. Octopus Octavian. So, the Spectacular Spider-Man 173. So, I'm only going to describe, like, the, the, the start of it just because... Um, when I do reviews or if I'm highlighting a book, sometimes I've told you the whole story. But in this one, I feel like you should read it. Because if you're a Spider-Man fan, then you should definitely be picking up this story. If you're a Dr. Octopus fan, again, same thing. So it starts off with some, some muggers by the docks and who don't. Uh, expect Dr. Octopus to come out and give them a beat down. So meanwhile, during the same part of the story, um, Dr. Octopus, he has a crush on Aunt May. And that's a little bit of an ongoing story. So at one point, they have um, another reporter at the, at the Daily the Daily Bugle? Or is that Superman? <laughs> I can't believe I can't remember um, the newspaper. I've, it's been a while since I've read Spider-Man. But, um, no, it is a Daily Bugle because the Daily Planet Superman. Oh, there you go. Just learned something myself by listening to myself speak. So, what I really did enjoy was you get to see two, two different sides of both the hero and the villain. I don't see that that often in modern comics where they look at some of the villains and just show another side of them where they're not always killing people or mugging people or world domination, just showing them as human beings. And I think if you did that more, it would add more depth to the character like they did in this. Also, this is, takes place during Christmas, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say because I don't want to say anything else. And the way Peter Parker reacts to this um, just shows some of the frustration that he feels about being a superhero and carrying this, this burden where he has to um, keep a secret identity, try to protect his loved ones, and then fight all these maniacs who are always just bent on destruction or conquest, or just simple bank robberies. Um, Dr. Octopus is like one of Spider-Man's classic villains, okay? So you would be like, like for my top five, for me, before Venom would be, first would be Green Goblin, then Dr. Octopus, then Electro, that's what I put Electro number three, and then Kraven the Hunter, and at that point, Mysterio, most likely. I mean, I, I know at the beginning it was a vulture, but for me, those are like my five classic um, Spider-Man foes, just because they were just so interesting of characters. And they have, I think the vulture really was helped by Spider-Man Homecoming when Michael um, Keaton was able to play him because he did such a good job and by making his wings not just um, like just wings that he could fly and and it's not some old man who's just a, a burglar type of thing added so much depth to that character that I'm going to actually go back and start trying to find some vulture characters same thing with uh, Dr. Octopus he's had so many cool stories so I just look through my cor oh, sorry get a little tongue tied uh, looking through my collection, looking for a video, I mean, looking for a book to make a video about. And so I thought I'd share this, a spectacular Spider-Man. And also just let you know that I'm going to continue to keep doing videos about different subjects. And that it's just going to be comic book related only. So uh, even if I do pops, it will be comic book pops. And um, I'm actually going to do my next video with a... Um, with a pop, so you're gonna have to, you know, catch my next video to see what I'm gonna be using it for. So that'll do it, people. I just wanted to make a short video just to give people like myself and you something to watch because 
I'm watching other creators, you know, we're all stuck in the house. I happen to be here at um, Around the Table, located in Linwood, Washington. So if you're looking for like board games or card games, you know, check out their website. It's called Around the Table, and it's located in Linwood, Washington. So if you just put punch that up, you'll have access to their website, and you're seeing what they do. So, you know, we got we still got a long way to go. So, um, you know, we got to keep making videos, trying to find a way to relax and comfort each other and help those that we can, just like Spider-Man. So that'll do it, people. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. And if you're new to the channel, what's up? Take care. I need a new theme song. I don't even have one. Late.